the vultures? In in what way? Who's saying you're not worthy of it? Not me. Well, no, I understand it's not you personally, but. Uh, because they've gone in purposely because they know that there's money. There oh, okay. And that the okay. family isn't going to oh. stand up. That's what we're talking about right now. So let's move to that. I did not pay her to do this beautiful segue. No. As care providers, sometimes there are people in the business for the wrong reasons. And, and that might be what you call a vulture. But let's look at these words. These are words that come to us. What's another word for help? When you hear the word help, what's another word for help? It's a word we hear all the time in our business. It's another word for help. Assist. Assist. Yep. What else? Keep going. Save. Save. What else? Aid. Aid. When people help you, what do they do? They give. They give. They assist. They take care of. You help me. Here's another word in our world. Support. What does that mean? What's another word for support? To hold up or to push up or to raise up. When a politician says, support me, what's the politician one? Money. Money. Absolutely. Forget the vote. Just send in the check. Then give me the vote. Absolutely. Or a member of the family, support me. What do they want? Yeah. Be on my side. You not which side are you going to choose? Support me, not them. Send in the check. Raise up, hold. How many different interpretations? Yeah. Or supporting someone in decisions that they're like uh, changing decisions they're making. Absolutely, absolutely. You do agree with me, don't you? You do agree with me, and many people will do the game plan and line up their side of the battlefield. It's almost like going to war. And I've got my tanks and my soldiers over here, and you've got yours over here. And here comes the care provider walking into a war, having no idea, trying desperately to help this family, and find yourself being pulled in many, many different directions by people who have become very good at this. This is not something a family just creates. We walk into family systems that are alive and well, whether they're fully functional or not, except they are all functional. I really don't like the word dysfunctional. I've, uh, if you're dead, I'll give it to you. You're dysfunctional. <laughs> I will give it to you. But if you're alive, you're doing something. It might not be very effective or very efficient or even legal, but you are doing something. And if we look at people as dysfunctional, where's the hope in that? I want to be able to look at families and say, you're spending a lot of energy doing something. Could offer you some options. <laughs> Could offer you a different way of looking at things. But let's take that energy and see if we can't convert it a little bit. But look at these words. Sometimes support also means help. Help me. What about this word? This word we're never supposed to use as care providers. Rescue. Ooh. What does that mean? It's another word for rescue. Save. Save. Absolutely. And yet we're told, don't get into the business of rescuing people. Can you think of a time when it ever might, might be appropriate? To rescue someone? When they're drowning. When they're drowning. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. When the house is burning down, when they are standing on the bridge or holding a very sharp instrument in their hands. And yet, as care providers were told, don't get into the business, the business of rescuing. But on occasion, it is the first step. It's never the only step. So let's look at the way to define these words. Now, I'm just going to share my definitions. You certainly aren't, don't have to take them, but it might give you some, some food for thought. For me, help is when we give skills and tools. Helping someone is helping them move out of their situation, or more into it, depending on it. But they've said, help me, which to me says, I, I don't know how to do this. I need the skills. I need the tools. So that keeps me clean. If I'm helping someone, I'm helping them to help themselves by teaching them. I have some knowledge. May I share it with you? And invariably, it's always a two-way street. For me, support is equal to nurturing someone, to supporting someone, to holding them for a while, not carrying them. We'll go through that difference in just a minute. But to nurture them, maybe to nurture them while they're learning some skills. I will hold your pain while you're learning some skills and tools. 
And when you're strong enough, I'm going to hand that back to you because you now know how to take care of it. And on occasion, rescue is the appropriate thing. If, if you're not breathing, everything else we have to offer you isn't real valuable. Rescue is sometimes the first step, but never the only.